A 95-year-old veteran traveled halfway across the country from California to Sioux Falls to revisit a military landmark. Leon G is one of the few remaining sailors still alive who served aboard the USS South Dakota, the most decorated battleship of World War II. Kelly Perry Groton caught up with G as he shares memories of the ship and the dwindling ranks of men with whom he served. A solitary sailor strolls the sprawling grassy deck of the USS South Dakota battleship Memorial. I really enjoyed coming back here. Leon G served as a radar operator aboard the South Dakota in the Pacific Theater of World War II. His family drove him up from his home in California so he could visit the memorial. I think it gives him um, uplift and morale, you know, and having and meeting people that we've met back here to see him again, and it's exciting. They had like a cone of silence above the ship. G turns 96 this fall. I just had my driver's license renewed till I'm 100. <laughs> G survived several enemy attacks upon the battleship. I'm the son of a preacher man, <laughs> and uh, I believe that my father and mother's uh, prayers had a lot to do with the ship not being damaged after I went aboard. G used to be a regular fixture at reunions of the USS South Dakota held in Sioux Falls every two years. But those reunions no longer take place because so many of G's fellow crew members are no longer around. It's disappointing that we aren't going to be seeing them every two years or the last two years we saw them every year. And um, I've tried to contact some of those that were here two years ago and I've gotten disconnect phone numbers so I'm not sure where everybody is or what's happening. G says he doesn't like to dwell on all of his shipmates who have gone before him. Instead, he enjoys the chance to see the battleship again and visit with locals during this one-man reunion. And he's planning on coming back next year. If I'm around, <laughs> I'll just take one day at a time. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Oh, so glad he made it back. Now you can do a deep dive into the history of the battleship by watching a video produced years ago by Kettleland TV that includes rare footage of the construction of the memorial. We have a link at Kettleland.com.